So let's look into vapor compression cycle and basic refrigeration system. So in the refrigeration system, there is an evaporator, compressor, condenser, and throttle valve. In the evaporator, what happens is the working fluid absorbs heat from the material to be cooled, such that working fluid undergoes evaporation. So we call that part as evaporator. After so this process forward uh, it shows evaporation. In forward process, it absorbs heat. Then it, it goes to compressor. In compressor, what happens is this vapor or the working fluid is compressed. So, so this represents O2 and O2 is an isentropic process. So in this compressor, isentropic compression takes place. After isentropic compression, the working fluid enters the condenser. In condenser, the working fluid exchanges heat with that of the surrounding or air. So in 2-3, it is process 2-3. In process 2-3, it exchanges heat with that of air. And after that, this working fluid, so we have seen that during compression, it, the working fluid reaches its vapor state. Saturated vapor state. From saturated vapor state, during this condensation process, it reaches to saturated liquid state. From saturated liquid state, this goes through throttle valve. In throttle valve, what happens is this working fluid will undergo an expansion such that we are getting a mixture of vapor and liquid phase. So it reaches a phase four. So at point four, the pipette is it will be a mixture, and this process three four is not isentropic. Even though the compression was isentropic, the process three four the expansion is not isentropic. So now let us look into some equations. First, energy removed from the cold body. We know that in the process forward, the working fluid absorbs heat from the material that is to be cooled. So, if the enthalpy of that points, let us say, at one, the enthalpy is H1, at four, the enthalpy is H4, then H1 minus H4 will be the heat absorbed by the working fluid per kilogram. So, if a mass flow rate is M dot, then the working the heat absorbed will be M dot into H1 minus H4. Now, one two process is what that is delivered by us or that is given as input. So now, during the process of two, the work that is applied will be m dot h two minus h two h one. So we know work done is equal to m dot h two minus h one. Now we know the energy removed from the cold body and. Also, we know the work that is supplied by us by means of some electric supply or so to remove that much heat. So the coefficient of performance is the ratio of the energy removed from the cold body to the work done. That is m dot h1 minus h4 by m dot h1 minus h2. So there we get h1 minus h4 by h1 minus h2. Thank you.